Today, boys and girls, we're going to show you how to strip down and service a vice, what you've used during the course. We're going to arrange, uh, use a range of different tools and techniques, and hopefully we can service the vice so it's in serviceable order. We lubricate, and then we fix it back to the table. Firstly, we start by examining the vice. We have taken it off the workbench, so it's easier to work with. We're going to make sure that, test the vice to see if it's working, that it's moving freely. If it doesn't, we need to clean it up. So probably we need to file some of the straight edges to remove any burrs. Therefore the vice will come apart. First job we're going to do, we're going to tip it upside down so we can access some of the bolts underneath. And just looking at this vice, wherever it's stripped down and serviced it previously, I've used different size nuts and bolts. We'll start off, we'll remove the square headed nut, and then we we'll use the socket and ratchet to remove the other side. All this area here is part of the quick release mechanism, so if you can see as I operate the lever, the block lifts up out of the special thread which is called a buttress thread, and therefore it allows the vice to move freely. We're going to use an Allen key now. loosen the front make sure you place all the nuts and bolts in one place you know where they are and then you remove the quick release me mechanism and the buttress thread be careful the spring is in tension it could jam your fingers if you don't want to handle it properly so the spring so we've got the quick release mechanism if you look at the specialized thread there, and we've got the saddle that lifts the block in and out. This is where you must be really careful. If you let this go quickly, the spring won't catch you. Again, place all parts to one side so you can see them and then you'll, you'll know exactly how they go back together. Turn the vice back onto its base. Remember that there's a washer fitting inside there which will fit on the end of this shaft when we reassemble it. If you like to just notice the different shape on this thread, it's very sharp on one side and it's tapered on the other. Therefore that allows this block to slide and to lock. Back to the main part of the vise, we're now going to slide it out. Faces of the jaws. 